everything to me. I just want to be in your arms. That's all I want. That's all I need is to be with you forever. So you're positive you don't want to go back to your folks' house? Whitney. Yes. Yes, I'm positive. I want to stay with you. I love you. You're my future, and I'm committed to our future together. So then you're really not that committed to each other, right? No, I didn't say that. I mean, Chad and I are totally committed to one another. I mean, Chad's the only man that I've ever loved. And I know that he loves me, too. Yeah. You're making a mistake, Whitney. Big mistake. Eve, something has to change. Yes, D.C. And I think I know exactly what that would be. I want Liz to go. I want her out of my house. But, honey, why? I don't understand. She has been such a big help to us and the girls. We don't need her help. Okay, this is a family problem. Sweetheart, I don't... But... This is a very volatile situation, T.C. You told Whitney that you're going to disown her if she goes to L.A. with Chad and marries him, and Simone is upstairs claiming that she hates her sister. These are personal problems. They have nothing to do with Liz. But if she's a friend, if she could help out, we should try to we get... We are Whitney and Simone's parents. We should be dealing with this situation, not Liz. She's nothing to us. Nothing, E? Okay. We'll just see about that. Um, Charity, you must have your wires crossed on this one. Sorry, Beth. But I still have the strongest feeling that you know something about Sheridan's whereabouts. But that is crazy. How would I know anything? I was here the whole time with Gwen until Sheridan turned up missing. Why would Charity lie, Beth? Why would she have any reason to lie? I mean, you must know something, anything. Charity's been right about all these other things. Why wouldn't she be right about this? Okay, I don't know anything about all those other things. They, they just had to be, um, you know, a coincidence. Beth, if you know something, you tell us what it is. Or you tell us where Sheridan is. <sighs> okay. Okay, Charity's right. I know where Sheridan is. Where is she? Two people who know where Blondie is. But, except Beth. I mean, she'd never tell. Oh, I can't believe this is happening. Believe it. Sheridan Crane is finished. No one's ever going to see her again. Okay, 
honey, I know that Liz is not family, but that's not any reason just to kick her out of the house. I told you why, T.C. Because we need privacy. But she has really been good with Whitney and Simone. I mean, she really kept the peace between those two when it was really heated. Okay, T.C., I'm not saying that, that she hasn't been helpful at times, but she can't stay here forever. Eventually, she's going to have to go back to her hotel on St. Lisa's. <laughs> the place is not going to run itself. Yeah, I guess she has to go home sometime, huh? Yes, and why not sooner rather than later? We need this time to ourselves, T.C. Just for family only. I mean, just face it, up to a few months ago, neither of us had ever seen Liz before. She was a perfect stranger. Stranger? Big sister? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. You know where Sheridan is? Where is she, Beth? I knew Beth was up to something. Ow! Gwen. Mm. What? You, you really should try to keep Gwen calm. I mean, she she is pregnant. She wasn't feeling well before. I'll, I'll see that she takes it easy. My husband does not need to be told how to look after his wife, Teresa. Gwen, I am sorry. I was just concerned about you getting upset. My best friend is missing. How can I not be upset? Gwen, Gwen. Teresa's right. You need, ah. you need to relax for your sake and the baby. Okay, come here. Ah. You tell us where she is, Beth. Now. I just remembered Sheridan telling me once that she she wanted to go away by herself. That um, she wanted to get away from the stress and pressure here in Harmony. You mean she wanted to go away by herself? Where? Where did she go? Oh. Oh, angels in heaven, there is a rat the size of a Hummer sniffing at Sheridan. Scat! What? Scram, you vermin! He'll only come back. <laughs> oh! Oh, you are horrid! She could die down here, eaten by rats, alone in the dark and the cold. <laughs> Nobody's going to die. Yet. <laughs> Look, Bethy and I, we're going to take good care of Sheridan. We're going to bring her blankets and, and water and, and food and tons of food. We're going we're gonna to fatten her up so she delivers a nice, healthy baby. Our baby. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a difficult time for us and we need to be able to deal with the situation and with Liz here it just confuses everything the sweetheart to tell her to get out well, honey she has her own life I bet you she's just staying here out of a sense of obligation to the girls and hey that's not fair to her is it yeah maybe not I think it's just best for everyone if she were just to go now. All right. Thank, thank you, honey. So let's tell her. You want to tell her now? Well, yeah, we don't want to drag this thing out. Let's, let, let's just go tell her. She's in the kitchen. Come on. She's not here. Maybe she went to bed. Well, she still has to be told. All right, I'll tell her she has to go when I see her. Good. You're gonna pay for this, Edie. You're gonna pay and pay and pay. I'm gonna take everything that you care about. Your husband, your family, and you'll be left with nothing. Well, Beth, tell us where Sheridan is. 
For God's sake, Beth, where is she? I, I don't know exactly. But you just said that you knew. No, I was just... I meant... I, I was thinking, and I know... Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that Sheridan wasn't kidnapped. That she left the cottage of her own free will. Yeah, well, what makes you so sure? Because Sheridan and I were talking recently. She told me she's been under a lot of stress here in Harmony. And she felt terrible pressure and thought that the only way to alleviate it would be to go away by herself. And then she was telling me about the nightmares with the clowns chasing her. Beth's right. Sheridan suddenly became terrified of clowns. I mean, maybe she talked to somebody else about the pressure she was feeling. Luis and Antonio could end up fighting over this baby for the rest of their lives. You know, sometimes I just... I think it'd be easier for everyone if I just disappeared. Sheridan talked to me about it. What did she tell you, Teresa? I was just after little Ethan. I moved in here, and it, she sounded so stressed out, you know, so much so that I thought that she was talking about taking her own life. But she wasn't. She just told me that she thought it would be better for everyone if she just wasn't here. Well, actually, she talked to me, too, about wanting to get away. But after we talked, I, th I thought everything was fine. You know, that she just wanted a break from the pressure. Is there anybody else that she talked to? I don't know what I'd do without you. Yeah? There's no more crazy talk about leaving Harmony and dropping off the face of the earth? <sighs> Teresa told you. Yeah, she was worried about you. I don't know why she just didn't talk to me. I mean, I'm her husband. I, I'm sure it's because she just didn't want to upset you. So it looks like Beth is telling the truth. I mean, Sheridan was talking about going away by herself. Could that be what your premonition was about, Charity? Sheridan going away and Beth knowing about it? I suppose. I need to check on little Ethan. But I, I don't want to, you know, go without any news on Sheridan. No, that's all right, sis. You go on. Your son needs you. I'll call you the minute we hear anything. Thanks. I just don't understand why Sheridan would go away by herself. Well, I told you. I know, I know. You said that she was under a lot of pressure, but it just doesn't make any sense, her leaving without saying a word to anybody. I mean, what could she possibly be so upset about? I mean, we're married, we're in love, she's having our first child. This is supposed to be the happiest moment of our lives. What could she be that stressed about? Damn rodent is back! I don't like this, Charlie, not one bit! Oh. Blondie! Did you hear that? Edna doesn't like this! Oh! <laughs> Say, Charlie! What are you gonna do with Sheridan once the baby is born, huh? Huh? Absolutely nothing. What? What? You're gonna leave her down there in that pit that's starting to freeze to death? Beth and I haven't decided. But it could be. We'll end up being humanitarians. Oh. Oh, so, so you're gonna let Sheridan go, huh? Fill it in! <laughs> what? <laughs> Fill the oh, pit no. in with Sheridan in it! <laughs> oh, no, poor Sheridan, no, 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 no. real estate section. Wow, there's not much here. There's one. Hi. 
Hi, yes, I'm calling about the apartment you have for rent. I see. Yes, it's already been taken. Okay, well, thank you anyway. Yeah, you know, I don't care if every apartment has already been rented. I am still staying in harmony. Eve's not gonna get rid of me that easily. Sweetheart, you want a drink? No. You know, TC, it's not too late to go and talk to Whitney and try and convince her not to leave. Honey, she made her own decision. She decided to turn her back on her own family for that damn punk. Oh, you know you don't mean that. You want her to stay as much as I do. Honey, Whitney went up those stairs, packed her bags, and left on her own accord. Yeah, but she's our little girl. I meant what I said. I told her if she walked out that door, don't bother coming back. Oh, you don't mean that. I know you don't mean it. Eve, she disrespected us. Her own flesh and blood. Everything we have done for her, she just threw it out the window. I am not going to beg her to come back, and that is final. What are you thinking about? Mm. Nothing. Uh, you're not changing your mind, are you? You still come to Los Angeles with me, right? Mm, of course I am. <sighs> Good. You had me scared there for a minute. Well, don't leave. I'm looking forward to moving to California with you. Yeah. Starting a brand new life together. <laughs> I just can't help but be a little bit sad, that's all. Mm. About your family? Yeah, I mean, I'm leaving my old life behind. I've spent my whole life in harmony. My mom and dad and Simone. That's just all I know, you know? You know, I never knew my family, so it's kind of hard for me to relate to what you're going through. But I do know it's going to be hard saying goodbye to all that. You know, you know what I wish? I wish that they would, you know, come out and see me sometimes. Or let me come home to visit. It would make it so much better. <laughs> It'd be a lot easier. But I know my father. He's never going to let that happen. Never. Oh. Hey, Teresa, how you doing? What's wrong? You look like you lost your last friend. Just about. So you heard about Sheridan? Sher no, what about her? What about Sheridan? You don't know? I mean, I thought that's why you were so upset. I thought maybe Ethan called and told you. Called and told me what? What are you talking about? Sheridan is gone. She, what? She's gone? Where, what do you mean, she's gone? Well, we, we, we don't uh, know. We, first, we thought that she was kidnapped. What? <laughs> I know. And, but now we think that she just, you know, went away by herself to get away from all the stress that she's been feeling lately. Oh. Yeah, well, there's a lot of stress going around lately. And you know what? There's a lot of people leaving Harmony, too. What do you mean? You know what, Teresa? You're Whitney's best friend, right? Maybe you can talk some sense into her. What about? You know, I'd rather have her tell you herself. She's over at the recording studio right now, so... Yeah, I, I'll go talk to her right now. Can, can, can you drive me? Well, yeah, I can, I can drive my car's at the front gate, so okay. if you want to just... Okay. What could possibly be so stressful that Sheridan felt that the only thing she could do was get away from everyone? Well, if only Antonio knew the truth. Oh, you can't tell him, Louise. Okay, okay. I'm not going to tell him. At least till I know that it won't add to the stress you're already under. Make sure we find a way to be together. I have to. I don't know for sure, Antonio, but I think it has something to do with the person who's been after her. Don't you? You mean the one who tried to burn the cottage down? Yeah, she, I mean, she was really shaken by it. You know, she might have felt like she was putting everybody else in danger. Yeah, she left so everyone else could be safe. Makes sense. No, I don't. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. That's it. 
She's such a kind and selfless person. She always puts others before her. That's it. She left so we could be safe. for Blondie. What? Everything our little house guests will need. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So good for your big tummy, Sheridan. <laughs> How's she doing? I chased off another rat. Do you know she could get rabies? Well, we'll have to get some rat traps. Because we definitely don't want that to happen. Yet. <sighs> She's coming too. Oh, oh, sweet. Now the fun begins. <laughs> I'm home? There's no chance of that. I'm just saying that we back off and and cool down and just give her a chance to think about what it is that she's done. Well, she can think about it when she's in LA. Come on, TC, be reasonable. Now, you know that Whitney's a very level-headed girl, and I don't believe that she's just going to up and throw away everything that she's ever known in her life. No, I think that she's going to sleep on it and then realize what she's done, that it's a mistake. Tomorrow, she'll see more clearly. And so will we. You know, we can't let our anger and our hurt over this situation distort our perspective. There's no distortion about it. I told her if she left, don't come back. Now, T.C., just stop it. You know that you are too good a man and too good a father to turn your back on your daughter. Especially a daughter I know you love as much as you do, Whitney. Nobody loves Whitney as much as I do. And if she comes back on her own, I will take her back. But it has to be soon, and it has to be without Chad Harris. Yeah, do you make reservations for two people? Oh, who is it? It's me. I mean, it's us. Yeah, uh, um, Harmony to Los Angeles. Hi. Two people, one way. I'm sorry. We are interrupting. I, I should have just called first, but it's too late now. Um, did, did, did I just hear right? Reservations to L.A. for two. One way? Well, um, I've made my decision. I'm going to California with Chad. <laughs> oh, my God, that is great! What changed your mind? Well, I decided that I can't live without him. Um, especially now that I'm going to be his wife. What? Chad asked me to marry him, and I said yes. Oh, my God! Did you hear the song? Yeah, I, I knew it before. And you didn't tell me! <laughs> I know. Of course Sheridan would go away. She felt she had to so the rest of us would be safe. And then she's having those dreams about the clowns chasing her all the time. I, she must have been under more stress than I even knew. No. No, I don't buy it. I, if Sheridan left, she would have left a note. Well, maybe she didn't want anyone coming looking for her. You know, thought it would be safer. You know, to keep everyone from being exposed to even more danger. Well, I still don't buy it. Where would she go? Charity? Do you have any idea where Sheridan is? No. You know, I, I just sense that she was troubled. I don't know where she is. Hey, are you all right? I'm fine. I'm just really worried about Sheridan. All right, you... you... You need to get some rest. Okay, I'm taking you home. No, Ethan, I don't want to no, go no, no. yet. No arguments, okay? Everybody, I'm uh, going to take Gwen home. She really needs her sleep. Come on. You call if you hear anything. Anything at all? Yeah, I promise. Okay. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you later, guys. I think maybe we should be getting home, too. Okay, I'll walk you. Okay. You guys are going to stay here with Antonio, right? I'm not going anywhere. 
I'll call in a little bit, see if there's been some news. Charity. Thank you for everything. I didn't do anything. I wish I could have. Yeah. Beth, I just wanted to tell you thank you as well. Me? Yeah, for what you remembered. Oh, no problem. I just hope that Sheridan's safe and sound wherever she is. No. All right, I'm not buying any of this. You don't think Sheridan would have gone off on her own? No. What, are we all just forgetting who Sheridan is? Sheridan is a strong woman, okay? She stands up for what she believes in. She, she wouldn't just take off. Right? That, that's not who she is. Oh, I bet this someone kidnapped her, and there's going to be evidence of it. At least I found Charlie's earring. What if she left another clue? Not mess this up, Charlie. <sighs> Dirt. <coughs> what happened? Where am I? This is gonna be so good. It's <laughs> wicked. I can't wait till Beth gets back to see us. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody there? Help me! Somebody please help me! What's happened? <laughs> Tonight. Uh, it was all really, really sudden, okay. but... Okay, see, I got a call from a record producer in L.A. and said they needed him out there ASAP. And I realized I can't live without him in my life. So I decided to go with him. <laughs> and that's when I realized I wanted to make it permanent. So I proposed to her. God, you two. This is... <sighs> oh, my gosh. You're going to have a big wedding before you go to L.A., right? Oh, my God. Have you, have you thought about the color schemes? And, well, and the caterers? Who are those people that can do Gwen's wedding? Because we're not we're... going to have a, a big wedding. Why not? My mom and dad are furious with me, Teresa. Um, my father basically disowned me. No, 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 I, I, don't, I don't believe this. Come on. You know how they feel about Chad. They said if I walked out the door with him, that I could never come home, so... With me, I... And I know my dad's serious. So, you know what, it's okay. Maybe he'll change his mind once you're gone, and he starts missing you. I wish that would happen, but... Way to get revenge on my sister. What are you doing? I'm looking for clues, something to help me figure out what happened to Sheridan. But Antonio and I already looked. Yeah, but Luis is a cop. He might find something he overlooked. Antonio, why don't you look through Sheridan's clothes, see if there's anything missing, all right? I mean, anything at all. Now, if she did leave on her own will, then they're going to be clothes, suitcase, whatever missing. All right. I'll give you a hand. If she was kidnapped, then there be signs of forced entry. Luis, what can I do to help? Well, just look around, all right? Uh, be careful, OK? If you see anything unusual or out of place, whatever. Luis. What is it? Sheridan's suitcase, some of her clothes are missing, but the weird thing is her passport's gone, too. Well, don't just stand there, Charlie. Well, what should I do? Um, 
Um, get her passport. That'll make it look like she left the country. Passport? She left the country? She must have really wanted to get away. Hello? Is anybody there? Oh, poor thing, poor thing. Get back. Or you'll end up in there with her. <laughs> I know somebody's up there. Please help me. This place. This pit. It's just like my nightmare. Oh, my dreaming. Oh, please, God, let me wake up and be back in my own bed. This is real. I gotta get out of here. Oh. Why didn't you tell me you weren't feeling well earlier? It was probably nothing. It was probably just something I ate before that didn't agree with me. Ow! What, Gwen? What? Oh my God! It's the baby. Then call the doctor. Ow! <laughs> If you don't take back what you said, we'll lose our daughter. Then so be it. Chad has proposed to Whitney, and Whitney has accepted. Now we have to act like adults and deal with it. Dr. Russell. Eve, it's Ethan. Uh, Gwen, Gwen's having cramps. Is there a way you can get to the estate and uh, look at her? Well, how severe are the cramps? Oh, she, she's oh. in terrible pain. She's doubled over. Uh, okay, we'll take her to the emergency room and I'll meet you there. I cannot believe that you're running out on me again. I am not running out. Gwen is having cramps. She could lose her baby. I'm her doctor. I'll be back as soon as I can. you're upset about your parents. But this is wonderful news. Mm. I mean, I'm sure once you're settled into California, your parents are going to come around. Yeah, maybe. My best friend. I'm going to miss you so much. Well, I'm going to miss you too. <laughs> but we'll talk on the phone all the time. Okay. okay? <laughs> And, um, you and Little Ethan can come out and visit us anytime you want to. Oh, God. Oh, Little Ethan, I, I need to ch ch check on him. Um, are you ready, Fonk? Uh, uh. Oh, wait, wait, Fonk, congratulations first. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations, you too. Congratulations. Okay, talk to you guys in the morning. Bye. 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 Oh. <laughs> and Chad are getting married. I mean, this is great news, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad their plans are working out for them because mine are not. Well, what happened to that girl that you told me you were in love with? Oh, Teresa, that girl is leaving town, so. I'm sorry. Not as sorry as I am. Wait a minute. Why don't you just go after her, you know? Tell her that you want to be with her, like Whitney's doing with Chad. 
You know what? This is not going to work. Go. Fox, it's Liz. We need to talk. It's important. Sheridan took her passport? Where'd she have gone? Why? I don't know. But she must have been very upset to have resorted to running so far away. Look, Sheridan didn't run away, okay? She was kidnapped. Oh. What is going on? Oh. Sounds like Blondie's having a nightmare. Oh. Oh. <laughs> my baby. <laughs> Let me see. Please give me my baby. Please. Why is 